Hello guys, K here, and today I'm going to do a wait, yeah, video. So this is how to convert your Minecraft worlds, and that's basically it. So I don't know. I'm just gonna be fairly honest. I don't know how to do it like in within macOS. So to like change it, you're going to need Windows or a laptop with Windows or a USB where you can transfer your world, or you can just be in Windows normal. It doesn't really matter. So, this can also convert, it basically can convert survival to creative and change your world to generate structures. So, yeah. So, let's just say, for example, today I wanted to do my let's play and put, make it generate abandoned mines and strongholds and generate the new nether. Yeah, I can do that. So, it's not hard. So, what you're going to need is NBT edit. So, just go to Safari. Okay, gonna get this, and sadly it's not for Mac, so you just click it and then it will download. As you can see, I have the one folder. And then we're gonna need to, if you're on Windows, just open it, or extract it. This has already been extracted for me, so yeah. So when you open Windows, go into my downloads, drag it in. As you can see, I already have one here, but I don't need it, I'll just delete it. So, make sure you're not using the world, like, right now. So let's just say I want, let me make a new world, like test, and let's just put game mode survival. So, yeah. Test, wait, test one, two, three, four. Now we let it create the world. And I should be on a survival world. Yeah. However, it looks like some type of survival island thing. Okay then. Anyway, that's basically this. And then, if I save and quit that, you can see that that's in survival mode, right? Now we need to go into Windows, open MBT Edit, and then once you've done that, find your Minecraft folder. Now it's going to be different to me because I'm going to open the Mac um, Minecraft within Windows. So. If I open this, if you're on Mac, here it is, basically this. You're going to want to go into shared folders, your user, uh, library, application support, scroll down until you see Minecraft, and um, go into your saves. And for Windows users, it's percentage and app data, I think, and then you'll see Minecraft or dot .minecraft, I think. So test one two three four here it is, and then we open the level dot dat, and you'll have sixteen entries, and then you press this little plus sign. Um, I might be able to zoom it in for you if I press control, but I'm not sure if this has an effect on the recording. So, yeah, if we go into this, you'll see that map features. That's basically to generate structures on or off, and the game type, and zero is survival and one is creative so if I do this put one for creative press the save button zoom it back out I didn't I'm not sure if you saw that once again and then you'll see that that's in survival mode if I cancel go back into it creative mode so it's basically how it works and yeah not really much more to it and I can fly around and do whatever this really is some kind of survival map. Um, just in case anyone wanted the seed, because I know that someone might ask, FNF3, there is the seed. It is one long seed. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. Also, if you want to, like I've already explained it, if you want to convert an old world to a new world, you're going to want to... Here it is. Um, it should be on zero. And then you're going to put it on 1, so then you just click that. Once you have that highlighted and press 1, then you press enter, press the save button, that's done. And this is just your player stuff, and yeah. that's You can edit that if you want, but I don't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing. And that ends the tutorial. I have a Let's Play coming up very soon, so I'm just going to quickly render this. And goodbye, guys.